occasion in uh, 35 minute detention with me answering every question they asked me except for who is your commanding officer in the military. That's the one I didn't refu I would I refused to answer. I answered everything else they asked me and I complied with every request except get out of the vehicle. That time I said no, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. I stayed in there. 35 minutes they detained me. The supervisor at the 30 minute point had two official passports in his hand and my military ID and my driver's license and they still called my uh, commanding officer allegedly, you know, to make sure I'm an American citizen. I mean, it was well, just... Well, that's pretty good. No, we do hire foreigners to fire military, don't we? What's that? Well, it's the best thing out there. You know, once oh. Americans die, they serve us. Yeah. I, it was amazing. But those, those cameras paid off. So oh, you got the smoke screen. You can see that on YouTube yeah. as well. All right. Um, I'll give you guys the, the lowdown then. I'll just... Uh, and uh, feel the doors a little okay, heavy. This thing is bulletproof, is that correct? It's correct, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's bulletproof. Obviously, all the glass is bulletproof. Um, inside the vehicle, um, inside the metal, is there, there's a fabric called Spectra Shield. It's, uh, it's kind of like uh, the next generation of Kevlar. It's similar. It nets bullets whole. So they'll go through the metal and then just get netted in here. It's really, really wow. good stuff and it's very lightweight. So, bulletproof car. Um, now, just some of the other features. There's a lot here, so I'm just going to kind of go in, in, in an order. Um, you can see down at the bottom left here, in the charger, is a little box. It looks like a uh, kind of like a, a beeper, maybe. Yeah. That's a wireless microphone. So if I get pulled over by the cops, I do two things. First thing I do is on my iPad that's center mounted there, and I have two wireless cell networks in the car. I hit Bambuser. That Bambuser application is great. You've heard some people talk about Quick. Quick's a great application too. I like Bambuser a little bit better because it allows me to stream privately, and then I can make it public later if I if I choose to. Whereas Quick, the the newer ones. Uh, I think they make you make it public right off the bat. So first thing I do is I hit Bam Juicer. Now I'm recording audio and it's streaming. Okay, it's something if you've got a smart device, you can stream the audio. That's the most important thing in my opinion. Okay, that's a 99% solution right there. Now the other thing I do is I'll take that microphone out and I'll put it in my pocket. And what that'll do is it'll wirelessly transmit to my car and be recorded on my DVR. Should I get out of my car and maybe into his car? Should I choose to? Then I've still got an audio. Uh, you know, source that's protected here. Now, in addition to that, there are four microphones, external hidden microphones on the outside of this car, and just one of them will pick up conversation all the way around. They're wow. outstanding. $30 microphones, they're waterproof, um, and, and I'll point them out to you. They're excellent. If I, if I could do nothing else, I would, I would have a smart device, I would have a jow tech, and I'll talk about that a little later, and the other thing is I would have at least one microphone hidden inside my mirror, powered up recording. Um, yeah. And uh, there's two microphones hidden in that one. Okay. All right, so you got that. Um, there's two batteries in this car. Obviously the normal one, and there's another one back here. There's a battery assist button here, so if I lose that one, I can start off that one. Um, Center-mounted uh, iPad. I have a couple of switches right here. This switch right here just turns on strobe lights. You know, not really all that useful. This other one here puts out a smoke screen behind. I'll show you guys a video of it. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, and, uh, so if the co cops are chasing you, they uh, go into the fog? It's a toy. I don't know that I would ever use it for anything. It's uh, really just for fun. Do you have some that will drop nails behind you? You can, you can get that. Yep. <laughs> you can get that. Texas Armory Corporation armored my car and put in the smoke screen. They, they also uh, have a lot of other accessories that you can get that are pretty interesting. Um, interestingly enough, I got the smoke screen installed yesterday by them. Uh, they did the road test. Twenty minutes later, I am driving here to Austin. The problem with the smoke screen, though, is it has residual that's still in there, and it was smoking all the way up the interstate. Now, it wasn't a smoke screen, but it was still a significant amount of smoke, mm. and a police officer pulled up alongside me, and, of course, this camera recorded it really nicely. I'll show you guys the video. Right. And uh, he just said, uh, hey, uh, you need to pull into the Exxon. You know, you've got uh, something's wrong with your car. You're smoking pretty bad. Sir, you know, pulled off into the Exxon. Um, yes, sir. Uh, hey, he, he was being helpful. Yeah. Um, okay, so you got that one. Uh, there's a camera. These are wide-angle night vision cameras. They're all just like this one. Um, there's one in the front. There's another one installed under the mirror. On that side, there's one in the back. So four different microphones, four different wide-angle cameras, um, recording everything that's going on the outside. Wow. Now, if you look at the rear view mirror, 
that's in here. It looks like a regular rear view mirror for the most part. That's actually a covert undercover cop uh, system. There's four cameras in that mirror. So it goes out the windshield, gets the interior of the car, and you can see the pinholes on the side that get your driver's side and passenger side window. Wow. It's awesome, and it has a microphone. Eight channels of audio, eight channels of video are all transmitted, including the wireless microphone and including a scanner that I have yet to put into one of my things. I'm going to have a police scanner that's also recorded into the DVR. Um, it's recorded into this 500 gig black box, which is connected to the internet. Okay, so this streams. I can watch the video from my car on my iPhone, or and I can secure the evidence uh, on the internet. This is from a company called Protect All Security. You can find them online. Uh, it's an undercover cop uh, who, who, who founded it. They're very helpful and uh, really some good people working there. The other thing that this records, you can see the sensors, it records if my turn signals are on, it records if my doors are open, if I'm braking. All of this sensor data that could be used against me by an unscrupulous cop is recorded and streamed and secured. Okay, so that's a protect all system. Including the AV360 rear view mirror, it's about a $4,000 system, okay? Now, that's that system. Here's the other uh, battery. I've got a printer scanner back here I can print to and if I need to underneath this. This is all got to, uh, going to have to be made more pretty, but uh, it's a little bit cluttered back here. This is the smoke screen. Uh, this is transmission fluid that goes in there. I push the switch there. It dumps into both the exhaust ports to make the smoke screen. I'll show you guys a video of what it looks like. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, all right. So that's that. Now, Let me uh, mention, also I've got a switch inside there that electrifies the door handle. <laughs> 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 if anybody wants to test it out, it's not too bad, but it'll make you want to take your hand off. Um, <laughs> if anyone wants to test that out. Now here, this is the pride and joy, I think, of this. This is going to be the most beneficial for people who are trying to protect themselves. You don't need to have $4,000 here. Okay? You don't need to have the money that it costs to armor your vehicle necessarily. You want the best system, in my opinion. Okay? Two things. First of all, the smart device that can screen the band user real quick, that's number one. Number two, it's going to be this device called a Jowtech ADR3320. This one device, you plug it into your cigarette lighter, you mount it like it's a radar detector, it's basically the same size. It has two cameras, wide angle, so it'll get the inside of your vehicle and it'll go out so you can get the outside the front of your vehicle. Obviously, I have mine mounted here so it gets how it gets the entire action of the left side and the top. The other thing that's great about this is it has built-in GPS in it. So your speed is also recorded. It records all these things. The one weakness that it has is that it doesn't secure the evidence. It doesn't stream it, right? Streaming it to the internet is kind of a holy grail of securing evidence, in my opinion. But, taking a look at this, imagine you're an unscrupulous cop that's just been videotaped, and you decide you're going to arrest me, you're going to search my vehicle, and you decide you want to make this evidence disappear. How would you do it? If you saw this camera, how would you do it? Okay, you take the camera, you do that. Or you can notice that there's an SD card here, and you can pull that SD card out and say, all right, I got it. But what you don't know is in, it's not actually recording with the SD card. It's recording to a little thumbstick that's hidden in my glove compartment. We'll never figure that out. Okay, so, and not only that, you've also got them recorded trying to steal your data. Okay, that cop's going to jail, right? Yeah, that's a whole we like to think so. That's a whole different uh, discussion. Yeah. <laughs> like to think I, like, so. I like to think about stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I like to think about it too. Um, so, you take anything away from this? Smart device, band user, quick, screen it. Okay, at least get the audio, number one. Number two, if you can get a Jow Check ADR 3320, it's going to cost maybe $400. Okay, $400, plug it in the cigarette lighter. Of course, the best bet, in my opinion, is to wire it. The wire is hidden, it looks better. Plus, they can't, they can't follow the wire and they don't know that you're actually recording to a USB drive in your glove compartment. Okay. Now, if I take the USB drive out of the glove compartment and I unhook it, it will record to that SD card. So I always keep it plugged in so it's recording to that drive. Those two things are great technology. Another one on the other side. Or if you wanted to mount it on the 
there you can get the interior guard car. My lock is against the Border Patrol, but it's up on YouTube. You just Google military officer and Border Patrol, you'll see me uh, in that video. That was a course with the older version of the ADR. So you can see it's really good. It does a really good job. The other thing with the ADR... So yeah, we're out here at the... Uh, Police Count Billy Summit, Peaceful Streets Project, putting on down in Austin, and uh, we're just hearing from Rick, who uh, founded Veterans Against Police Abuse. He outfitted his car with, I don't even know how many cameras, he just went over, probably uh, like 10 or 12 cameras, uh, at, at least six audio recording places. It streams, uh, it records to a deep, uh, DVR in the car as well. Uh, lots of redundancies, and it's probably the best vehicle setup I've ever seen, so pretty awesome. Um, I'll, I'll try to uh, get another interview with him with a high quality camera and uh, chop that up, put it online. So be on the lookout and more come from the Police County Village Summit.